morning, good morning, what is up and welcome to another video. That was a nasty drop yesterday and until now it's not clear, well, what's the reason behind? Some are telling that Elon have sold their uh, Bitcoin holdings. I hope guys that you are all safe and uh, hopefully you manage your risk very well. And this kind of event in crypto is pretty normal. That is why we always need to manage our risk. And if you are trading futures, stop loss is a must. So let me share with you here the uh, chart of Bitcoin. It was a, a very nasty drop yesterday and no one really uh, expected that to happen. I was doing some charts, posting uh, an update about OP chart when I saw that very nasty drop from the OP chart. And that is why I already knew that something had happened to the Bitcoin's price. And when I changed the chart, I saw this very nasty drop right here. I was actually shorting and my target was hit at around this area. And eventually I was trying to do some scalping at around this area, trying to catch small moves to the upside. And this is uh, normally the downside of scalping guys, because if you are scalping, Usually you would trade higher position size because of course you are trying to catch the smaller moves. And yesterday I was not able to watch the trade because uh, again, I was doing some charting and checking some updates, but luckily I have my stop loss in place. So let me show you that how important a stop loss is if you are trading futures. So these are the current, uh, let me just grab my pen. These are the current profits here. Recently, when I woke up this morning, I've closed some of the trades. So Rune, $81, $10 for BTC, Polkadot, $100. BTC, uh, last night, I tried again to scalp $55. But this was the nasty, nasty move, guys. I was doing some long scalp uh, using one Bitcoin position. So I tried to enter long at around 27970 I was expecting to take profit to around 28500 And that nasty drop had happened. This is one of the uh, trade that I have posted uh, as well in the VIP. This is the uh, stop loss guys. So let me just share it with you. So basically I'm sharing most of the trades in the VIP, most of my trades. Um, I'm sharing it here. So today I've taken some profit and last night, this was the trade guys. So EMA target, this was posted as well. This was the previous move guys. Uh, this was the short position. So the target was 27K, um, 200 EMA and a little bit of wick to the downside up to 27K. But we have seen a massive, massive candle wick, candle wick right here. Look at this candle wick. This is, I think, from uh, 26, 26, uh, five, 26, 500. And we have seen a massive, massive wick down up to $25,000, uh, guys. So this is, this is, kind of unexpected to most of us. So again, the importance of a stop loss on every trade is a must. So I have my, I have opened a long scalp position here, stop loss at 27,385. So this was the trade guys. Uh, this was my entry here. Uh, uh, and my stop loss was at around 27,365. Uh, but because of the, uh, very fast movement in price the stop loss did not trigger immediately but instead it triggered at around 27361 but again the importance of a stop loss when trading futures is very very important this loss can be recovered in the upcoming trades but if you liquidate your account there is no chance to recover that losses the only solution is when if you tap up your account or if you add and refill your portfolio, but it is going to be very, very hard to recover if you liquidate your entire account. That is why a stop loss is a must. And of course, position sizing, margin and proper risk management is very, very important. So I have recovered some on my recent trades and will surely recover uh, this one loss in the next upcoming trade. As what you can see, this is already recovered guys, because uh, the previous day I have made like around $600 and plus another $100, $200 today. So this is already recovered. Overall, overall, um, we are still in a massive, uh, good, good amount of gains. 
So that's it for now. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, comment down below. Did you get liquidated in this kind of move or you ma manage your risk very well? Let me know, guys, in, in the comment section down below. And if you uh, know the reason, is it really Elon? Uh, is he the reason behind this drop? Did Tesla or Elon sold their Bitcoin holdings? Let me know, guys. And of course, all charts and TA are for educational purposes only and not to be considered as a financial or investment advice. That's it for today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.